Welcome to myprojectbazaar.com. The title of the project is Detection of Dangerous Web Pages Based on the Analysis of Suicidal Content Using Machine Learning Algorithms. And the abstract of the project is Nowadays, the task of preventing suicide is one of the priorities in the health sector. Therefore, it is important to identify people prone to suicide at the early stage. The tremendous rise in technology and social media sites enabled everyone to express and share their thoughts and feelings with millions of people in the world. This process discusses the possibility of detecting such web pages by analyzing their content in real time using machine learning algorithms. Detection occurs on the client side in this way with sufficient accuracy to identify dangerous websites visited by the user. It is possible to identify a person who is suicidal at the early stage. Online social networks like Reddit, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn turned into significant medium for communication. And the flow diagram of the project is first we need to start the program and select the suicidal content data set and view the sample data set in the console working directory and it will implement it into data pre-processing. In data pre-processing we apply the data cleaning method. In data cleaning we need to check the if it is null values or missing values contains in our data set. If it is contains mean we need to replace it into the unique value of zero. After that it will implement it into model selection. In model selection we need to choose the independent variable and dependent variable. After choosing the independent and dependent variable, we need to split the data set into training data set and testing data set. Then it will apply it into classification method. In classification, we are using two machine learning algorithms like support vector machine and random forest algorithm. And it will analyze the data and generate the result based on accuracy, precision, recall and FN score. The project was executed in Anagonda Navigator Spider IDE. And this is the output of suicidal content detection and this is the sample data set and in that I have to check the information about the data set in information I have to check the type of data file in every column text and class column text column contains the sentence and class column contains only suicidal content or non suicidal content and after that I have to check the missing values in our data set there is no missing value in our data set that's why the result get is, the result is zero and after that I have to implement the TF-IDF vectorization with count vectorization. The count vectorization is used to convert documents or text into vectors of term or token counts. And the TF-IDF vectorization is used to transform text to the feature vectors that can be used as the input to the estimator, input to our algorithms. And in classification, I have implemented two algorithms. First algorithm is support vector machine algorithm. The support vector machine provides 94% of accuracy. And these are the classification report. Precision, recall, f score for suicidal and non suicidal contents. The precision means number of correct prediction. Recall, recall means number of correct instance of prediction. f score means it will measure the test accuracy. And this is the confusion matrix diagram for the support vector machine algorithm. The confusion matrix diagram which is exposed the correct prediction and misclassification of the suicidal and non suicidal content through the SPM algorithm. And our second algorithm is random forest algorithm. Random forest algorithm which is provide the accuracy is 89 percentage. And these are the classification report for random forest algorithm. And this is the confusion matrix for random forest algorithm. Finally, I have to predict the sentence through the random forest algorithm and the random forest algorithm will source the results of non suicidal content and these are all the variable results and this is our original data set suicidal content detection this is text and this is class